Hello and welcome, everyone. Welcome to the Gymnashack Conference. I'm Steve Burge, and I'm going to be your host. We have two more days of Joomla sessions coming up. This event is taking place on the same weekend that the Joomla World Conference in London was going to be held. Unfortunately, that event was cancelled, but hopefully we're able to fill in with some Joomla Day-like sessions, 30, 40 minutes of Joomla knowledge, and then the chance to ask some questions at the end. For the first session of this day, I'm delighted to welcome Carlos from Andalusia in Spain. He's talking about the power of custom fields in Joomla. Now, Carlos is a man of many skills in the, the Spanish Joomla world. Let me stop you there and help you with the slide so that you can see all the, <laughs> the stuff. Well, I think it's about time to turn it over to you, Carlos. Uh, welcome. Thanks. Oh, really? Oh, thank you very much. So thank you very much, Steve, for organizing this conference. Uh, it was very sad to have the Jula World Conference uh, canceled. So this feels like a, a good uh, substitute and uh, the, a great opportunity to connect with all Jula's around the world and people interested in Jula. So thank you very much for organizing this. This is not easy, even if it is not in a physical venue. I think it's it's a great amount of effort you have done. So thank you, thank you very much, and thank you for having me here. Thank you very much, much also to everyone uh, in the chat and watching this uh, now and in the future when we have it posted in YouTube and whatever. Okay, I'm Carlos Camara, as Steve uh, has already presented me. And I am a web developer. I started in this like in 2004, playing with web and that stuff. And I was in Joomla when it was not even Joomla and that kind of stuff that all guys say, okay? I am a developer in JEvents, uh, your sites, easy layouts, and at my own project, uh, Epta Extensions, which is a little page where I upload every extension I, I think would be interesting for the community. Okay, I am also a, a Jula teacher. <laughs> uh, that's uh, quite recent at my uh, Jula Academy, manualesjula.es. That is in Spanish, in Spanish, so sorry if you do not know Spain, Spanish. Anyway, I am pretty sure I will not be able to compete with OS training, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, I'm also a podcaster. I love podcasting. I have two podcasts, one about PrestaShop, which is uh, prestaradio.com, and it's a e-commerce CMS. Uh, we have in the architecture has some things very, very similar to Yula, and I like it that, so I started uh, developing sites on PrestaShop. And also I have a Yula podcast called Mastermind Yula, which I co-host with Andrea Gentil uh, from Exley. Okay. I'm a proud journaler. I am really passionate. I feel really passion, passion about Jula. And everyone should use the, the hashtag Jula Proud, okay? So <laughs> uh, please spread the Jula love because uh, we really need uh, people saying how awesome Jula is. And that is what we are going to speak today or to see in this presentation today. We're going to see an awesome feature that Alan Morris introduced or kindly donate to Jula Core, which is the custom fields. Okay. Why should I use custom fields in Jula? Okay. We have like lots of reasons to use custom fields. I think other CMSs already have custom fields and they are uh, really well spread and they use it and it, they are really helpful to develop lots of websites. Custom fields are already in Jula core and they are, as we may see, uh, supported by the main Jula component, core component, and also other components uh, by third parties, by other Jula developers are starting to to adopt them and to use them. So we should really uh, start thinking of using custom fields. Also, they, they they really add lots of functionality to our site really easily because it's just choosing the fields and choosing the permissions and we are 
it's good to go. So we really need to consider because they are very much, many, much more powerful than simply adding a text or a custom field text in your articles. Okay. Custom fields are extensible. You can build your own custom fields. Okay. Lots of people are building custom fields for their specific projects and some of them are even uh, publishing them and making them available to the community. So uh, this is like a really, really nice, nice thing to consider. And also, I am a big fan of CCKs, okay? <laughs> Actually, I am. A, I was a pretty Sioux, pretty heavy Sioux user. But now, uh, I think most of the time, we really do not need a CCK for some projects. I mean, for, there are projects where you really need a CCK, but uh, there are other projects which are small enough or medium enough to not need a CCK and with Yula custom fields, we can really accomplish whatever we need. So let's dip a bit into this. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, we have uh, support for custom fields in the main core components. I have here a site which I have been working to show you some features for custom fields. So let's uh, use it to see this. The first option are the, the user manager, okay? In the user manager, we see we have here the fields and the field groups links, okay? These links are uh, saying us, are telling us that we do have support. Okay, let's go for the fields. In Jula, how many of you have installed a community builder or any other kind of extension to add the birthday of your users to their profile. Lots of you, because that was a mission feature in, in Joomla. At some, time, at some point in Joomla 2.5, I think, we had the profile plugins, okay, which allowed us to uh, have uh, more, more fields in the in the Eula uh, profile, like address, CD. this this one is the one that came with Eula. You can build your own and have do pretty crazy things with this. Okay, I have used it a lot for custom projects, but this is not flexible because you do if you if these fields are not suited for your needs, like address, city, region, country, postal, phone. This is not going to, uh, you, you need to develop a custom plugin, uh, a full plugin for your profile, okay? So that is not like very easy to do, especially for users who are not uh, very comfortable with uh, programming, with coding. Uh, so there are some extensions that help you with that and and could uh, allow to introduce uh, Joomla uh, profile fields, but it's again a third party extension and the user thing should be something in the code. So now with Yula, you can uh, create your custom fields. Okay. So you just go here, you create a new field, like for instance, uh, date, let's see the date, the birthday. Yeah. Uh, we, we were speaking about birthday. So birthday. Let's put it here and we can have, we can show time. I mean, you see, you have like pretty lots of options and then close. And now when you create a new, a new user, let's open a new, they are very cheap, these tabs. So <laughs> let's use them. When you create a, a new user, you will have a birthday field here. Okay. And you can choose it and you're good. This is even better this this gets a bit better because you can come to options okay let's allow user registration uh, this is the site we are building <laughs> you don't know yet and let's try to add a new type okay Okay, we come here, come to users, we should have a login form. We are good to go. 
uh, in body field menu. Okay, good to go. Now that we have a login, we can have a uh, don't have an account thing. Okay, here are our, our fields. Here we have the birthday field. And now remember, uh, now in Europe we have the amazing GDPR or RJPD, I'm not sure how it is in English. And with that, you need to ask permission to for everything to your users. So we have the privacy set in the core, but maybe that is not something we want to use or we don't know yet how to use it. A simple way to, to ask for our user's consent is to allow a checkbox here. Okay, add a new field, which is a checkbox. And uh, yeah, have it here. Okay, this is required, and we save it. Again, now we need, we have our field, which you can see we cannot edit. Okay, and we cannot edit this. Uh, well, we can edit this, but not. We should not. Let me come here. So, but if we come here again, let me get rid of this. And we say we can allow people to edit the custom field value, public people, people in public. Then we have here that people can check the, the mark. Okay. We can use this. Like, for instance, for uh, not allowing people to edit the fields after they have registered. For instance, we can allow people in public to edit the field, but when they are registered, we can deny. And that way we have a field where they can fill in when they are registering and they cannot regret afterwards. Okay, this, uh, well, maybe the consent thing is not... Uh, something uh, we should stop allowing, but you know, you know what I mean. I mean, we can do very powerful things with these permissions and with the custom fields because they support the fully range of permissions of Joomla. Okay, so we can take advantage of that and and make it uh, ma make awesome things with that. Okay, so that that is for the user so far, but we also can have it in contact, and I love the contact thing. Because when you go to contacts, you can have uh, different field, fields for different areas in contacts. You can have fields to show in the contact information, fields to uh, request when people submit the contact form, or uh, fields to show in the category of the contacts. Okay? Let's check the mail one because I think th this is the one I, I it blow my mind. I have already created a contact here, okay, info, and um, I have added a, a custom field for the mail. Okay, it's a question, and it's how many episodes have you already listened for Inter? If you come here to contact us. Well, let me show also that this is a contact, single contact view. Okay, so we are showing a single contact for our contact info. And after the required uh, data from the standard contact field, contact area, we can we have our question: How many episodes have you already listened? I guess. <laughs> so, uh, and with this, if we try to send an email, okay, okay, we have already sent the email, and if we check the mail hog, we have here the data. This is an inquiry email by 
test, test, this is me. And how many pixels have you already listened? 15. Okay, so this is awesome because you can already create awesome forms to get information from your users and you do not need any extra form builder, okay? So if you do not need to do anything else with this data, you just need a way to contact with your users, it's amazing. You can ask whatever you need, okay? And you have lots of fields here you can use to uh, create your questions. So I, I'm really excited when I was really excited when I discovered this and I hope you are also excited in that. So uh, also we have uh, them in web links, not in the web, well, you know, web links is a uh, Joomla official component that is not included in the core, but you can download it and it's uh, maintained at some point <laughs> by the Joomla project. I say it at some point because we need to, to keep more people working on this, okay? I, I tried a couple of times, but you know, I need to, to focus a bit on making this awesome because I like web links, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, if you install web links from the uh, from their site, okay, I, I, you will have the I will send to Steve the the slides and you will have the link, okay. Uh, if you install the three point seven point oh, you already have a web a custom field support, okay. So you can have your web links and uh, you can add your uh, your uh, fields here for instance we can have an image field okay so we have a media field and we save it and when we come with our web links we will have them here uh, we already have images and here in fields we have the uh, media fields where we can choose where. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, that's all we have. No, the main part or what people is using custom fields. Like I, I don't have uh, real stats. And anytime I say a number, you, you must be completely and absolutely certain that I am making it up. But <laughs> like ninety five percent of people in your life is using. Uh, custom fields for for Joomla articles, okay? Because it's what uh, it comes to your mind as a quickest way of using this. So let's go a bit through it. It's not something we are going to spend much many time, much more time. But we have here also the fields and the fields groups, and also for the fields we can add the custom fields for the category, okay? We can add them to categories, or we can have them for articles. Okay, so it's like, it, it sounds good, I guess. And I'm not going to spend many more time because we are going to focus the, the rest of the presentation. We're going to work with uh, custom fields in content articles. So let's go through it. The title of this presentation was uh, Will uh, Whenever you, you Want with Yula. And this is not a very elaborated example, but I think it's a very interesting one because I love podcasting, as you have already guessed from my presentation. And uh, this is a quite interesting uh, application that I think we can do for, for Yula. So let's go and let's build a, a podcast site in Yula, okay? Let's go. What do we need? Okay, we need Joomla, <laughs> uh, specifically a version higher than 3.7. <laughs> so let's go for the latest, uh, which was released just a couple of days ago. So please update all your Joomla sites. Also, we need a URL field because we do not want to to host our audios in, in our server. We want to have them in another server. Uh, we are going to use, uh, well, you will see what we are going to use. Uh, and also we need a podcast uh, hosting URL. Okay, this is the iframe of URL. This is the, the one we need. And we also need good podcast content. As I have my podcast, but they are in Spanish and they already have a website. I am going to focus on trying to build a website for my uh, good friends from Junecast. Right now, they are part of Junedev and they have a really nice 
uh, structure, but let's see if they like my proposal of uh, building their, their website, okay? So for that pur purpose, I have built this, uh, let me unpublish this because we are not going to need it at first. I have installed this site and I have installed, I'm going to use the the Shaper Helix, the, the Helix Ultimate uh, template, the the framework and the template just like, like like it is the one you can download from free by for free and uh, well i have adjusted the styling and that stuff to whatever i thought it was nice and um, yeah here we have uh, the the result okay more or less this is the the styling we are going to have we have a menu here we have here the copyright. Sorry, team. Sorry, Chitang. It's not. Uh, it's not your copyright. <laughs> I have uh, still in your, stolen your your content right now. And uh, this is the 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 homepage we have. Okay. And let's go a bit into the what we have here and how we can build a podcast with Joomla easily with no other components but the. Joomla core, okay? For that, we are going to create uh, the specific fields we need. And we need just, uh, well, I have uh, figured out to have only two, two, two fields. One is the anchor URL field, the, and this is uh, just a URL field, a field of the type URL, where we are going to post the URL of the audio, okay? And here we have the duration URL, the duration of the podcast because I simply like to have the duration they are they are using. Okay, if you come here, I, I like to know the duration of the episodes anytime I try to to see. Uh, this is the the duration we have it here, and if you will see, we have here the an iframe where we can use to embed the podcast in any website. This is very common for all the uh, podcasting platforms. They usually offer you a way to embed your content. So we are going to take advantage of this and we are going to use the iframe content. Okay, let's work a bit with this. Uh, well, for just for uh, showing you how, how it could go, just using the... I'm not sure if I'm going to be filtered. Let's say just using the the iframe thing as they they give us, they provide it. Uh, let's go to the iframe, and this is going to be an editor. If I see it here, draw. Mm, don't do this at home, okay? Okay, we have an iframe here and we can come to our articles and try to the number 10 with Emmanuel. Nice episode, by the way, you should listen all to it. You should all, after this uh, session finish, you should all go and subscribe to Juncast, okay? And listen to their podcast. They are awesome. I was invited in the second episode. So, <laughs> okay, we come to the fields, and here we have the iframe uh, section. So let me place the code here. Hopefully, the filters, as I am a super user, will not affect me. Yeah, they are affecting me. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, it's it's a pain to to have a a night frame introduced in Joomla, and also it's insecure. Um, lots of pain points there. So, for doing this, I think for my point of view of developer, it's easier to have the the field in a URL. Okay. So, let's come here. Oh, I was here. Okay. For me, it's going to be easier to have the embed URL. Okay, it's this. Look, notice the embed as a URL field, and then create a little uh, a little override. Because if you, I, I have already created the override, so that's why you probably see it right. Let me. And do the override. Okay. Uh, 
So uh, with no overrides and just showing the URL, our uh, podcast look like this. Our the podcast page look look like this. As we want it to be inserted in our content, let's make the override work. So in that sense, what we are going to do is we are going to create an override. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, custom fields are plugins, okay? So you can override them. You can come to the create overrides feature of your template, come to fields, click on URL, and then you will have a, 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 a customized version you can customize it what whatever you you see here you see here it is uh, our override let's do a echo i like to do casa <laughs> it's a spanish word which means house and it is usually uh, it's easy to write in the keyboard so i usually put it if we add it here as you can see here we have our casa okay it's an over, our override so let's take the code i have for from my previous work here and copy it to our URL. Ah, oh, let's make this like a bit higher. Oh no, sorry. Okay, we're good to go. And now we have our player here and we already have our podcast site, okay? It's it's awesome what we can we can do just uh, using Joomla. We have the URL, we have the podcast in Anchor. Anchor is a, a free hosting platform for podcasts. You can pay for extra services, but they allow you to to place your podcast there for free so here we have we already have our uh, our site every every podcast has their content we have our pagination looks like right but i think tim is not going to like this this layout i have not shared with him so let's try to work a bit on on that obviously we could work on on overrides but as you have seen uh, you need to be a bit code savvy to code savvy to 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 work with just one field. Well, just let's imagine how it would be to work with all the the stuff we have we have here: the content, the articles, the category, everything. So uh, let me. So what we are going to do is we are going to uh, use a little trick. Okay. To spice up our site, we are going to uh, use uh, Easy Layouts. Okay, Easy Layouts is a, a component uh, we built from uh, Jevans uh, and allows you to uh, create uh, custom layouts for your Joomla content. It's like uh, doing your overrides directly with a. a uh, easy, dra easy drag and drop screen. It's not a page builder. It's like a content templator. Or it's not even that. It's it's awesome. <laughs> let me let me explain a bit more. Okay, let's uh, let's create a new layout. These are the ones that are good enough. <laughs> and you see, you can create here a layout type. Let's see, single article. Uh, we are going to match Joomla default layout, okay? And we are going to create it. Okay, good. It's creating it there. Let me remove this file. We don't want to have the override. And let me copy the code from here. My local server is a bit slow, sorry. And now here we have the layout Yula will have, or Yula usually offer for uh, for a single article, okay? 
this is not especially what we need and one thing I want to to mention is that uh, we have here our custom fields, we have here the page heading, we have here everything, okay? So uh, I usually like to start for like in a clean layout, but anyway, uh, let's get rid of this, of this, uh, let's leave that. I don't want that, 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 I don't want this, I don't want this. I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this. Okay, no, I don't want this. Okay. Well, it was not that hard. Okay, so now we have the page heading, the custom field, and all the stuff. Uh, let's save it, and let's see what happens. It's not going to be... Awesome, but just to to see how how it changes everything. And let's go, for instance, to my podcast episode. Okay, we have the title. Uh, I didn't have uh, anything else. Let's use our URL. If I know the other one, oh, custom field, anchor URL. Uh, only a field value. Okay, we have here the field value, so it's awesome. And we can also can change here the anchor player. Okay. And uh, we can have it as a block. Oh, my. Okay, and we can, uh, as we are going to, to uh, as it is showing just the, the URL in a link, what we can do is to um, to have it uh, customized from here, okay? One thing we, I, we can do is we choose to have only the non-formatted value that will provide the raw value, okay? And... Uh, then we can add a our raw HTML. No, we don't have that. I thought it was there. Okay. Anyway, uh, this is a. Let me add a new value that is a container mode by name. Mm -mm -mm. This was not prepared, so that's the problem. <laughs> okay, uh, let me try to use a, another row. Okay, let, let's do it the other way. Uh, I'm not happy with that. Uh, we are going to, to rename this to be our override, okay? And now the overhead of the plugin, it will be there with no issues. Okay. So we have here the, the override with the plugin. Okay, so what did I build with this? Uh, as I was working on this, I thought it would be great to have a better demonstration so i published i made this uh, little little thing to uh, show you the the power of of easy layout to to use with your custom fields my single article the one i was working before that is completely prepared looks like this looks much better we have the the audio here Okay, the audio player here in the down, in the bottom, which makes a touch, especially for mobile. The big picture, 
we have the title and we have the, the description there. Let's close this. We don't need it anymore. And this is the image we, we have. Okay. Okay. I was using the the Yula the Tailwind template before, so I didn't change this. But it should it should work with no with no issues. If I change to Bootstrap three, it will go to to different layout. Anyway, uh, here you can choose the framework. I have no framework here, so if you see no specific classes for fr any framework is included. I can include my own uh, framework classes, which is what I did when I was working with a, Tav a Tailwind template called Tabata. Uh, but if I include, I say to use uh, Bootstrap 3, my layout will change completely. As now, it will include Bootstrap 3 classes. Okay. And now we have row, flex, uh, responsive, and all the data. Okay. Uh, again, uh, here you can include the, your elements and also you can include your CSS for this specific uh, layout. Okay. So you have uh, the article player where we put it in the, at the bottom with this code. Okay, with the CSS, and then we have it. And it's it's a CSS we only need in this page, so it's it's okay to have it there. Okay. Now, if you go to the home page, we have this layout, but I didn't like it a lot, so I uh, work on this other one, which I thought it was nicer. Okay, and here we have the title of the of the page, of the category, and here we have all the items, okay? And also I thought, okay, and what about the episodes? Then you can come here and see that they are using this uh, layout of card, this card layout I put, but they are in, in one single column. So I thought, let's create a specific layout for them. And I did it. Okay, so this is all you can do just using easy layouts, but there are other awesome things you can you can use with your uh, custom fields. There are one uh, specific custom fields which I love, which are advanced custom fields by Tassos Marinos, and they provide you with uh, fields for telephone, for YouTube, Google Maps, Bing, Vimeo, uh, Facebook, Time Picker, whatever you can think. And this is like a, a must have for every uh, site using custom fields. Also, uh, we have this uh, amazing extension, which is Hotto Meta, and uh, which allows you to uh, define the open graph uh, elements of your page just using custom fields. It's really easy to install. You have uh, the data in the in in the presentation. And once it is installed, you just need to create a field group for your metadata. Sorry, here, field group. A field group for your metadata and assign your uh, fields to it. I do not know any course of custom fields in Joomla. I have developed one in Spanish, but it's if you know Spanish, I can <laughs> recommend mine. <laughs> I don't know any any other. Uh, and mine was inspired in another one I saw from uh, from a, a WordPress uh, a developer. So. Uh, also, I want to mention the uh, nice uh, content fields filter, which is a filtering module that allows you to have like all the power of of your uh, all the filtering power of of your law of a proper CCK with your custom fields, and they have this nice uh, a slider and that stuff. So really interesting. There are, these are only three extensions which allows you to uh, create amazing things with custom fields and more are to come. So give it a try and, and see what 
as uh, we can do with with them. Carlos, yeah. that was that was fascinating. Thank you so much. Yep, <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> we we have some uh, some questions from some attendees. I think um, partly because it's early in the morning, first presentation. Some people arrived late, uh, and one question from the chat is. Do you have to go to the C panel to add custom fields? What are the different ways in which you can add custom fields to your content? Well, the you you need to to be in the Joomla backend, okay? So once once you are in the Joomla backend, you just create the fields, and after you have all the fields here, you edit your content. Just uh, you can edit your content from the front end normally, and they will have the custom fields. I mean, to create the custom fields, to create the, the architectural custom fields, not sure if you mean what I say, you really need to be in the backend to create the, the custom field. But to add it to your article, you just need to edit the article. Whenever it is, it will it will work for you. Let me publish this. So, so. One question for me, I saw something about new custom field features coming in Joomla 4, for example, possibly a groups feature or maybe a repeating fields feature. Do you know if any new field types or features are coming in Joomla 4? Well, I have not uh, checked on that uh, so far. I know we already have a repeats field, but it's it, it's very limited in the sense that you, you can create it here. Repeatables, it's called. But you can only have uh, and and here you define the kind of the 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 fields they are going to repeat, but you can only have a specific number of fields. You can have a editor field, a media field, a number field, a text or a text area, which might be enough. For instance, if you are creating a website for a school and you want when parents register to mention the name of the children and how many children they have, you can offer this repeatable field so that they can put the the name uh, as me, uh, of as many children as they have for instance that's a or, for, or if you want people to do like some kind of soft group registration where you have one responsible of the group you just need the names of the other ones but they don't need an account in the site you can use this with the user field I'm going to give you two bits of praise from the chat and then uh, wrap up with one question if I can. One one person is saying they started to use custom fields and easy layouts and they thought it was uh, very helpful. And um, we've had a couple of requests to translate your your course on fields into English. Uh, I think people would uh, <laughs> think a lot of well, people would be interested. Very happy to to do it because I, I enjoyed it a lot. I even create a portfolio site for my students so that they can play with that. And I will be really happy to to do it because, oh. I mean, yeah, it's... <laughs> what, one person in the chat is saying there is a new, more powerful variant of the repeatable field in Joomla 4. Okay. Um, I was not aware. And final question for you. If you want these custom fields to be indexed in Joomla search, how do you go about it? Does Joomla support that natively? Well, you got me there. Uh, it depends on the on the plugin and on the on the on the smart search. I think in you mean for Joomla three in Joomla three we have the the two kind of search. So uh, probably. I wouldn't. I cannot say without looking at the code. To be honest, it's a question I didn't have any time, so <laughs> I don't know. You got me there, okay. but probably it's not supported in the in the search. But I cannot tell. To be honest. Well, Carlos, thank you so much indeed. That was awesome. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>